बाय नाउ यू गाइज मस्ट हैव सीन द मूवी और हर्ड और रेड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ रिव्यूज ब्रह्मास्ता इज मेजरली गॉट मिक्स रिव्यूज सम से द मूवी इज गुड समथिंग दे हैव नेवर विटनेस बिफोर सम आर नॉट श्योर वॉट टू मेक आउट ऑफ इट सम आर प्राइजिंग स्पेशल इफेक्ट्स बट आर नॉट हैप्पी विद द स्टोरी सम आर सेंग द डायलॉग्स आर वेरी रूडीमेंट्री वेल सम आर सेंग दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज द लव स्टोरी वेल सम आर सेंग दैट इट्स अ मिस मैश ऑफ एक्स मैन स्टार वॉर्स एंड द हैरी पॉटर आई हैव माई ओन एनालिसिस डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव डिफरेंट सेक्शंस आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर द सेम For any movie, the audience must empathize with the hero. And how do you ensure that happens? Simple technique is that hero needs to be wounded. He lacks something. He is going through trauma. The audience needs to feel the pain and trauma the hero is going through. The hero should go through hurdles and should have obstacles so big that the audience should wonder how the hero will overcome these problems. Basically, David versus Goliath kind of a thing. Does that happen when we meet Shiva? Our hero gets everything easily. He gets the girl within 5 minutes. Though he is an orphan, he is doing well for himself and has built a nice cozy family in the orphanage. He is happy all the time and has no complaints. It isn't that he doesn't have a trauma. The hero's biggest trauma is his mother. His mother dies in a fire, but nothing happens to him. He has the survival guilt. But this comes much much later in the movie. By that time we have lost half the interest. Also the film doesn't explore this guilt further it's just a passing reference if the filmmaker would have introduced this guilt factor within 5 minutes of meeting the hero the audience would have understood the pain also this would have connected to the plot of hero rejecting his power or the hero considering his power as a curse gabbar mogambo dr dang or the joker what is the common in all these villains they create terror on screen The villain Junoon is quite weak. We don't understand her motivations for helping the main villain Deva. Basically, she wants to awaken the Deva by bringing together the Brahmastra parts that are divided into three. Now, why she wants to revive Deva? How is that going to help her to complete her own journey? Nothing is explored. Moni Roy and her sidekicks fail to create terror on screen. For any superhero movie, the world has to be unique, different, and believable. The Astro verse here becomes a joke on many occasions. I felt as if the writer hasn't thought through about these astras. Nagarjuna in Nandi Astra heals himself after getting shot, but 5 minutes later he dies after one of the sidekicks shoots him. Also after killing SRK and Nagarjun, the sidekicks wear their kadas and imbibe their power. Like in the mask movie, whoever wears the mask becomes the mask. So where the actual power lies? Is it within the person or within the kada? Also how come these superheroes can have human like death imagine superman dying of bullet or falling from a building as superman has kryptonite as his weakness why there is no such weakness developed for every astra mythology is another factor that doesn't work in fact there is no mythology at all we have grown up hearing and watching ramayan and mahabharat the epics that introduced us to brahmastra but there is no mention of the same The movie moves away from these epics by creating an alternative history of Rishi Muni doing tapasya for astras and from that tapasya bonds brahmastra but we are never told why they needed these astras what was the threat they wanted protection from naming the hero shiva and giving astra fancy hindi sanskrit names doesn't root the story in hindu mythology when do you connect with a character when they are human like they have their own world they have their own story but in the movie we know nothing about alia's character apart from the thing that she comes from london we also see her british passport but she speaks hindi quite well without any accent we don't see her parents her parents are not bothered why she is roaming with a random guy they are never mentioned nothing we have no idea why alia's character falls for shiva the only explanation given is that her name is isha that is the name of parvati is that enough i doubt Same thing with Amitabh Bachchan's character. Does he have any family? What is his profession? We have no clue. Same thing with SRK and Nagarjun. We don't see anyone's family. Sab bachelors hai kya? And what was Dimple Kapalya doing in the film flying a helicopter? Whenever you pitch a story, you are asked what the film is about. Tell your story in one or two sentences. If I had to pitch Brahmastra, the pitch would have been an orphaned boy who has a peculiar relationship with fire. 
is forced to set out on a journey to discover his origins when he gets flashes of people being murdered for an ancient weapon that can destroy the world in the process he discovers a secret society that is protecting this weapon his connection to the society his inner power his story of origin and his higher purpose this is not a perfect log line but it more or less sums up the story now nowhere in the above log line we have a love featuring in it but the movie spends the first half in the love story the story doesn't move at all fine you want a love track so why not set it in the ashram where ranbir learns to control his power what if i remove alia's character completely will it affect the story at least not in part 1 maybe they will have a solid reason for her character in the coming subsequent parts but currently she has no purpose in the film rather than the origin story and story of brahmastra it becomes a love story and this is where i feel is the movie's biggest failure had they concentrated only on the origin story they would have cut down the length of the film and made it more engaging and crisp let's hope if ever next part comes these things are addressed and we get an engaging thrilling movie that will transport us to the world that we would like to visit over and over again